Hi there folks, well, welcome back to my channel and first video. I'm back in Dundee. You can see the river tape behind me. Um, where I'm actually going to be going to is somewhere that I thought previously that I wouldn't be able to film in. I was pretty sure I'd seen online that they didn't let any filming happen inside. But I did get to speak to someone and they were saying that as long as uh, I'm not obviously going in with like, a big rig or a big team and as long as I'm not talking while I'm filming, uh, I should be fi fine to to film inside uh, so if there's going to be like, any talking or, or any bit where I'm talking over the video it will be uh, voice over that I'll put in kind of afterwards so where I'm going to be going to is the V&A Dundee and it's quite, quite an iconic building in Dundee it's uh, one of those buildings that is always probably will always be quite recognisable it's quite a distinctive design uh, there's bits of it that kind of look, that does very much look like uh, prayers of ships, or kind of, or the kind of, uh, kind of fronts, of, fronts of ships, and it is right next to Discovery Point, where uh, the RMS, RMS Discovery is is kept, and it's also right next to where the the open the open top bus tour leaves from as well. So it's quite a busy corner if you want to come visit Dundee. Uh, different options, even if there's this one spot, small area, there's at least three things that you can see within like a two minute walk of each other. So I'm going to kind of sort of play under slip for just start talking myself in circles. And if you enjoy my videos, if you enjoy my channel, if you can click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channelscoffee.com page, the channel's PayPal account, and the TikTok account in the description bar below, and in a pinned comment in the comment section. So with that out of it, we'll get out of this wind and get into the V&A. Yeah, so as we just come up to the V&A. And obviously, right next to the Discovery, as I was saying. And if you're in any doubt of where I am. So the main entrance is just down here. Yeah, so they have the opening times of both the V&A and the bar kitchen. And they have an English which is on the left hand side and Gaelic which is on the right hand side. So this is just inside the V&A, it's on the lower level just to so come in through the main door and they do have weak displays in this area, it's including ones talking about how the building was built and designed. And they also have some of the materials that are used within the V&A on display as well. They do have a good wee uh, gift shop if you want to treat yourself to something, a wee memento. And so it does focus on design and a lot of uh, Dundee related things as well. The main galleries are up the stairs. So again, you just follow the stairs up, up to the second level and you'll be able to find your way through the galleries from there. And for anyone needing one, there is a lift. I think there is at least a couple of lifts. So if you have mobility issues, you can get up the stairs. And this is the door out to a wee outdoor area where you can sit and enjoy the view.
and most of the galleries within the V&A are free. There is one gallery that they use for exhibitions that you have to pay to see, but that's only one gallery. All the rest you can walk in and out of and just enjoy what is on display. And this is the paid exhibition that was on while I was here. This is the kimono exhibition. And also this is a model of the Scott Monument, which stands on Princes Street in Edinburgh. And this is Charles Rennie McIntosh's take on the city of Glasgow's coat of arms. And they have a recreation of one of the rooms that the Macintosh designed from Miss Cranston for royalty rooms. And I did go inside and have a good look at it. And it was utterly stunning. Really liked the way it was laid out and how it was set up. And I did treat myself to some soup in their cafe, which was proving very popular when I visited. Well, that's me back out from a visit to the V&A Dundee. Definitely worth a visit if you are, like, if you're interested in design, if you're specifically interested in Scottish design, if you're in Dundee itself, definitely go in and spend some time in the V&A. Definitely worth a visit, definitely worth spend some time just going around and seeing the, the exhibits and just, yeah, having a good little visit. And again, with it being right next to uh, Discovery Point, uh, where the HMS Discovery is and where uh, the open-top tour buses leave from during the summer, yeah, it's like you could probably spend the best part of the day in just that little corner of Dundee itself 
just exploring uh, the V&A Discovery and going on the bus tour. But I definitely enjoyed my visit to the V&A Dundee and hopefully you'll find the video interesting as well. Hopefully you'll be intrigued and if again if you are in Dundee you'll come along and visit the V&A. So hopefully you'll have enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.